Why hello there everybody, my name is Anthony and today I will be bringing you all 15 secret hidden easter eggs that are within Minecraft. So if you guys do enjoy today's video then be sure to give this video a like as it will help me out a huge bunch. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. I'm really excited to make this one so I hope you all enjoy. So one of the main reasons why I like the Elytra item in Minecraft is because it's actually a reference to the Super Mario 64 wing cap that Mario wears and pretty much glides with. So um, yeah, that's right. The Elytra item that was added in 1.9 that allows you to glide is actually a reference to the Super Mario 64 game as the behavior of the Elytra item is very similar to the Mario wing cap. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool to be honest and a pretty cool Easter. Egg. The music producer Dead Mouse is actually known for wearing a mouse head whilst performing. Now, what does this have to do with Minecraft, you ask? Well, Dead Mouse has actually played Minecraft and he owns a Minecraft account, and there is actually a unique feature about his skin that nobody else has in Minecraft. Now, as you can see on screen, he actually has the mouse ears that he wears whilst performing on his skin rendered on top of his head. Now, this isn't possible with any other skin, and I think it's a really awesome, unique feature about the skin, and it's actually an Easter egg in Minecraft. The third Easter egg on our list is known as the Never Displayed Splash. So within the text folder of Minecraft, there will be a document labeled Splashes. This document basically contains all of the splashes that you see on the title screen of Minecraft, but one of them is actually known as this message will never display on the splash screen, isn't that weird? That's right, you will never in all of your time playing Minecraft see this splash on the title screen of Minecraft. It's just a little easter egg hidden in the splash.txt file of Minecraft and uh, it's a pretty interesting easter egg to be honest. Just head over to the file path in the description and you can check out the splash for yourself. On the 31st of October, which is Halloween, zombies, skeletons, zombie pigmen and wither skeletons may sometimes wear pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns on their heads. These mobs will drop the pumpkins if killed by a looting enchantment sword, for example. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty awesome, you know, Halloween Easter egg within, you know, Minecraft on the 31st of October. And uh, another interesting fact is that these mobs will be a lot harder to kill as, you know, they cannot burn in daytime as they will be wearing pumpkins on their head. The fifth Easter egg on our list is to do with crash screen secret hidden messages. So when the game runs into a fatal error and crashes, the crash log will also include a message saying things such as, Hi, I'm Minecraft and I am a crashaholic. Or, somebody set us up the TNT. Or, you should try our sister game, Mincewrath. These are pretty cool, you know, secret messages that you can actually find if your game ever happens to crash in Minecraft. So, I guess there are some positives to your game crashing. You know, you can check out some secret hidden messages that are there. For those who have played the Portal games, you might actually get this new easter egg. So, pretty much there is a reference in Minecraft for crafting a cake called The Lie, which is actually a reference to the phrase, The cake is a lie from the popular Valve game, Portal. The seventh easter egg on our list is a pretty interesting one. So in Minecraft console edition in the default skin pack, the Scottish Steve and Swedish Alex skins are references to the locations of the companies that are developing the game. So 4J Studios is located in Scotland, whereas Mojang is located in Sweden. That's pretty interesting to be honest. The eighth easter egg on our list is a very creepy one to be honest. So when the .ogg audio file for the music disc 11 is converted to a wave and run through a spectrogram, an image is created. Several theories to this image exist, but the most popular is that the image depicts the default player head and C418's autograph. As you can see on screen, you can pretty much see Steve on the spectrogram, which looks really, really creepy to be honest. Like, some people even thought it was Herobrine, and it's just a really awesome easter egg to be honest. The next easter egg on our list is probably an easter egg that a lot of us have actually passed and not actually seen when playing Minecraft. So when we've loaded up the game, the easter egg has actually been here but we haven't seen it. Now what I'm talking about is Mint's Wrath. So there is actually a 0.01% chance that the title screen will display as Mint's Wrath instead of Minecraft. This next easter egg is actually quite sad in my opinion. So on June 1st, which is Notch's birthday and Notch is actually 
between the creator of Minecraft, the only splash that would be displayed on screen is Happy Birthday Notch, but this splash was actually removed from the game as of the 1.8.5 update. Now this is probably because of Notch's departure from Mojang and actually sold you know, the rights of Minecraft over to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. So Notch is not actually part of Minecraft anymore and that is probably the reasoning into why this splash was removed from the game. I don't know, I think that's quite sad to be honest, don't you guys? Now a few of you might actually know this easter egg already but a Mojang banner can actually be crafted using an enchanted golden apple, a banner and any die of your choice. It basically has the Mojang symbol displayed on the front of the banner. I think that's pretty awesome to be honest. This next easter egg actually has a lot more to it than you think. So basically, some of you might actually know about the toast name tag in Minecraft where you can pretty much change the skin of any rabbit you want by using the name tag toast. So basically, when Ryan Holtz was developing rabbits in Minecraft, the user ZenTV asked him to make a skin that would look like his girlfriend's lost rabbit, Toast. Now naming a rabbit with a name tag or rabbit spawn egg called Toast will spawn the rabbit with the skin that, you know, is on screen right now as a memorial of the rabbit. This next easter egg is another name tag trick that some of you might not know about. So basically, if you name a sheep Jeb underscore, then it will change any rabbit that you give the name tag to pretty much a rainbow colour and it will constantly change colours like a rainbow and it will look really really awesome to be honest. So pretty much just name a spawn egg Jeb underscore or a name tag Jeb underscore and give it to a sheep and it will pretty much be a rainbow sheep. So uh, that's a secret hidden easter egg in Minecraft that you might not know about. The 14th easter egg on our list is a pretty interesting one in my opinion. So if one were to to delete the file splash.txt in Minecraft without deleting the meta inf folder, the splash text on the title screen of Minecraft would actually switch to missing no. This is actually a reference to the infamous glitch in the Pokemon games in the first generation of Pokemon and uh, yeah I actually remember that glitch in Pokemon so this is really interesting that they put this easter egg in Minecraft. The final easter egg on our list is that the chiseled sandstone blocks in Minecraft actually have mobs imprinted on them if you didn't actually notice. So as you can see on the regular sandstone block there is a creeper imprinted on it and on the red chiseled sandstone block there is actually a wither boss mob imprinted on it. I think that is really awesome to be honest and a quick side fact about chiseled sandstone there are actually two unused chiseled sandstone mob designs that aren't actually used uh, on the chiseled sandstone and they are on screen right now. So um, yeah they look pretty cool. But that just about does it for the video everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I want to thank you all so much for watching it because I really do appreciate all the amazing support that you guys are giving me. If you are new to my channel and you want to see some more interesting Minecraft top 10 videos then be sure to subscribe to the channel as I do upload regular Minecraft things you didn't know videos and top 10s and stuff like that. And if you want to come on my Minecraft server on PC then the IP is play.idactivatemc.net but that is pretty much it so thanks for watching everybody have an amazing day and I will see you all next time goodbye